Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the manual testing interview question and answers. Guys, this is gonna be a very interesting topic where we will discuss about the scenario-based questions, especially right because I think scenario-based question for manual testers are really, really important because whenever as a fresher or even as a manual tester, right, whenever you are giving any kind of interview, right, for salary hike or anything, right, these scenario-based questions generally people ask, and trust me, they are going to help you a lot. All right. So with 10 years of experience, I'm going to give you a list of 10 important scenario based questions. This video is going to be in two parts. So make sure you watch till the end and note down what exactly you have to do whenever there's a scenario based question related to manual testing is presented to you. All right. And if you're liking this kind of videos, please let me know in the comments if you have any doubt or if you have any question that you would like to me to answer personally, right? Please, please make sure you ask in the comments because I always reply to all the comments. All right. Just a disclaimer before we start, guys. Uh, I really want just complete this video and make sure you watch this video in 1.2x or 5x so that you can complete the five important questions and all the documentation as well as the links i'm going to give you in the description so don't worry about it and one of the important disclaimer is guys i'm going to use ipad in this case so my handwriting please pardon my handwriting i will try to explain it better as possible all right so let's get started with the first important question all right which is basically what to do if you find a production bug Guys, this is really, really important. And uh, trust me, this is many times interviewer is going to ask you, right? What you have to do whenever there is a production bug, right? What are the expectations from a manual tester or any kind of a normal tester? Or if you're even if you're a software tester, right? So first of all, what you have to do is you have to do something called as analysis, right? First of all, QA is responsible for it. Many times what I have seen is uh, generally if you are a QA, right? It is your responsibility. Please go ahead and see why this P0 exists, right? Add, first of all, the first thing you have to do is add this bug to any kind of a bug tracking mechanism, bug tracking tool. It can be Jira, okay? So another thing is bug reporting template. I have already given you the description. You can download that. Share in the groups if you have found this information, right? that okay, there's a P0 you can share within the team. QA and dev will basically work on the RCA. We call it root cause analysis. And this is one of the important document that we need to basically add so that we basically know about the production bugs. So for production bug, you have to add RCA. We call it root cause analysis. And this you can add on your confluence page or you can add, uh, add it as a simple documentation. Okay, now you have to fill the, fill the RCA and you have to share with the stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders here? Stakeholders are nothing but your product managers or anyone who is responsible for it. Okay. And you can add after in the end, you have to mention that, yes, we are going to add the missing coverage, missing test cases. So missing test cases into the TMT, we call it test management tool. And we'll try to automate the flow also if there is a missing coverage. Okay. So RTM uh, template is already available in the description. You can download it after this session all right i hope you have understood what we have to do after a production bug all right let's move on to the question number two guys which is really important which is what to do if the stakeholders say that that uh, we have a very limited time to release a product for example a day or something right now this is very common scenario trust me guys this is a very common scenario where stakeholders who are the stakeholders your product manager designer or something they will say that, okay, there is a very less time. We have to release this product as soon as possible. Pramod, can you please do it, right? What is this? What you have to do in this situation? Guys, this is many times interviewer will going to ask this question to you also, okay? What you need to do is you have to prepare a test esti estimation sheet. Guys, this is really, really important. And I've seen people are missing out in this answer. Whenever they are giving the answer, right? They are missing the test estimation sheet. So whatever that you have in a, your test plan, right? Suppose you haven't prepared any kind of test plan. What you can do is you can do, you can create some columns where you can mention that these are the modules. So I have these modules and this is the time it will take to basically release, right? And what you can do is you can showcase them that with the data, right? How many test cases that you will have and what is the bound bandwidth that it will take, okay? So always uh, create a module wise as well as number of days it will take to basically test it out, right? Or you can write it down in number of hours also. For example, if it is a one day, then after you can present to your module owners and you can let them know that there is a risk. So you can let them know that yes, there is a risk involved because we are doing it hurry. So make sure we are basically testing out the P0 scenario, then go with the P1 scenarios and then we go with the P3 scenarios. Okay, so this is your responsibility as a QA. This is your responsibility that you should follow this process where you will divide your modules in a priority wise as well as and you, st you should start executing. So for a day, you can present them a test estimation sheet 
that if you can do it this task in one at one day or not right it is up to you like how you will you reply or if you are able to do it in one day what are the risk involved just let them know this is really really important and trust me it is very important question generally people ask you amazing right so this is how your test estimation sheet will look like you have this modules available here and you can write down whatever the, whatever the man hours or a time hours will take man hours are nothing but the time taken by this module to be finished in your test cases run or execution in hours right that you can do that so module versus testing efforts by hour you can mention it and man hours versus scrum generally in scrum and agile whenever you guys are following right so you will be have these kind of uh terms that you will see this okay amazing let's move on to the next question guys i hope you are liking this video please give a thumbs up if you are liking this video and if you want a part 2 for this please comment part 2 in the comment because i will try to create the part 2 also where we will cover five important more important question related to scenario based guys i have seen this scenario based question are right now getting asked by many many times in manual testers please make sure you give a thumbs up so that i can create another part also all right uh, let's cover the next question which is what to do when a developer say that this is not a bug guys this is very very important and uh, so many times people want to basically verify or they want to check interviewer especially want to check like uh, what will happen if developer say that it's a, it's not a bug what are the actions that you are going to take see just remember this thing this is what very important analyze and research within the requirement the first thing is you have to check the if the requirements uh, according to this whatever the bug that i have raised they are within the requirements or not right pinpoint the exact requirement and the bug what you have to do is you have to pinpoint directly let them aware about the missing area and the impact area of a bug so another interesting thing is you can let them know that due to this bug these number of user will face this issue okay because or because they have this feature enabled you can tell them right you can add a proof we call it screenshot logs videos other things into the bugs so that you are sure about it you can use something called as bug advocacy which basically means i mean it's a very simple uh, another big concept but what i wanted to say here is you can use something called as google analytics or some kind of logging or something which will basically give you add you as a proof which will give you a proof so that you can tell the developer that it has a impact on the bug or not right if there is no impact it's a low priority bug please uh, discuss with the developer and let your stakeholders know that yes this is we have deprioritized the priority of this bug okay that's it okay now let's come into the important question which is discuss the most important bug that you have encountered guys this is one of the important question where people will ask want to ask you like what was the most important bug that you have found and i have seen people are giving answers very very bad in this case okay just remember this prepare yourself with the answer first of all this is really really important guys i would highly recommend you prepare this answer because many times people are going to ask you this question you have to tell them why it was important so generally whenever i ask this question like what is the important bug that you have basically encountered they'll say that okay uh, there is a issue with the a uh, login page which i have basically found and that's it they are not basically giving me the answer in terms of why it was important for a user perspective right so what you have to do is you have to, to basically talk about in you know, a two important parameters the parameters are basically impact on the customer and impact on the business so impact on the customer you can basically find using the google analytics and you can impact on a business is basically many times directly to the revenue right so that you can basically check make sense so these two parameters just remember and you can give your answer according to this okay example for example in the checkout flow i was able to find some errors which were basically going for the new customers so impact on the customer is new customers were not able to sign up or not able to purchase anything and it's a revenue loss so overall we had some revenue loss that's why it is very very important bug for me okay that we can do that next important question is basically you have to justify the stfc documents and a qa process to the stakeholder okay this is very very important many times uh, what will happen is stakeholders will tell you that okay we don't require documentation we don't require this thing i don't know what is your qa process please let me know and you have to tell them exactly right so what you can do this uh, basically let them know about the stlc which is software testing life cycle there are certain uh, steps that you need to follow in the stlc right you have to share the documents first of all documents are really important which is test plan test cases test case template you can download it here test plan you can download it here there is a rtm which is requirement traceability matrix also bug reporting also i have give, basically given in the link description you can download the test report estimations and everything there, there are number of documents that you can basically showcase them directly that guys yes this is how we are going to basically 
run the QA process here with the documentation and in agile many times people will say that documentation is not needed but trust me just let them know that these are the important document for our QA process and it will not hamper any kind of a project timeline so they will basically give you a heads up on this okay uh, so you can basically tell them that uh, if we don't include any kind of a QA process it will lead to some kind of a bugs as well as it's a risk and untested modules will be released to the production so please make sure that we are basically following a proper QA process uh, you can share the documentation like different test reports bug report and other documentation so that they know about it right discuss about the impact and the impact on a customer in a business point of view so that they are sure that yes it is really really important okay now if you want the part two guys please type part two in the comments i will definitely going to create that i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching guys